the fit process. What, you know, let's talk about, okay, you're meeting with a prospective client for the first time. Okay, you're trying to activate the relationship cycle. Give me some of your initial thoughts on, on what that looks like early on from a prospective client experience perspective. Well, there's probably two things there, I would say, uh, that I've learned over the years and, and heard from some of our uh, uh, people that have joined us on, on our podcast is that one is to get the objections out early. So to, to get the fit, you almost have to be, you know, if you're selling a premium product or if you're a high-end um, um, consultant or representative, then you need to find the clients that are going to be in that category of um, spend or acquisition. So it's it's getting that out early to to understand that they don't they they buy premium, they're okay with a higher price, that you're not the cheapest on the street. It's not a low cost model. So that one is is to get that early so that you can decide that you know maybe the timing isn't right or we're not right for you or maybe mm -hmm. there's you know another. A supplier that can help you out. I think the other one too is um, probably more on in terms of the confidence in making sure that you are showcasing yourself at at the best possible um, level. It's not to be timid. It's not to be overzealous and and spill out way too much, but just be confident in what you know the three or four things that you really excel at. Why clients repeat coming back to you? Why they love doing business with you? And I maybe I, I I'm not one to to share and go over the top with it, but get it out there so that they know that wow this you know this person is, has had a successful career can really turn things around for me that I can see things and maybe see into the future on where we could be together. So to kind of paint that picture and then start to move towards that, uh, that you know, ideal future state. Okay, so let, let's get into this. So, and just so you are aware, um, when we consult with a fee-for-service professional, we, 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 I know we agree with this, the concept of working on the business, not in the business, not transacting, but building something, building momentum, building uh, thought leadership, building um, reputational equity, building advocacy on, working on that. So there's three core components to that. There's on-side, that's the fit process. On-board, that's the onboarding process. And ongoing, that's the, the long-term service model. So I, I want to delve into this. But, you know, your point about, um, first of all, we talk at length about professional contrast. Whenever you are interacting with a prospective client for the first time in their inside voice. Some of the unspoken things that are going through that person's mind are, you know, do I like this person? Do I trust this person? And they start comparing and contrasting you to their current provider and everybody else that they might be entertaining. So, so we suggest that when you meet a prospective client for the first time, be the buyer, not the seller. And by that, we mean you're not trying to convince somebody to do something. You want to create an environment where they want to convince you. Okay, so what does that look like? Well, first thing is, after the pleasantries, you pump hands, you exchange, you know, uh, you know just how are you doing? How's the family? How's life? and you pivot to the formal part of the interaction, there's a printed agenda to, to give the, the conversation some direction. Okay, I'm organized. I have a process. I'm not going to wing it. And there's no hidden agenda, which means we start, we say to a prospective client five minutes into the meeting, hey, look, right up front, uh, as you can see, we have an agenda. There's some things I want to get to know about you, and there's some things I'd like to convey about our value. But nobody has to make any decisions today, of course. That's not my objective. Let's just get to know each other and see if our interests align and if there's a good fit. 
at the end of this initial conversation, we'll step back. You can think things through. I'll talk to my team. We'll come back in 48 hours and see where this might go. Is that fair? Like starting off an initial conversation, that activates professional contrast, okay? I'm not just a broker trying to make a sale. And also professional scarcity. Professional scarcity, is we're not hunter-gatherers. We eat what we kill. It's not just about production. This is about a relationship. Let's start the relationship off properly. 